Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I hope you all will be doing okay. Well, I am okay too. And I am back with a new video. So today we will learn about Tuya IoT platform and how we can develop IoT smart home products with it. So in this video, we'll be making a IoT project with the help of Tuya IoT platform which will control a AC light bulb over the internet. So without wasting any more further time, let's do this. So guys, before we start, I want to mention that I have already made a video about Tuya and what kind of smart home solutions and smart home development services they provide. So if you are interested to know that, please find the video in my card section. So coming back to our IoT smart home project. For this project, two main devices we need and they are a Arduino and a ESP8266. Please make sure you have it. And one more thing to note here is the ESP8266 I am using is not ESP01. It's a ESP8266 node MCU. So please keep that in mind and all the buying links will be in description as usual. So please help yourself with that. Now I divided this project in three parts. In part 1, we will log in into Tuya IoT platform and create a product. And we will do our initial setup. Then in part 2, we will flash our ESP8266 with Tuya's firmware. Then in part 3, we will do our Arduino IDE setup. And we will connect everything together. So let's start with the part 1 of our project. So please visit Tuya IoT platform website and log in onto the website. Then here click on the products, then click on create to create new products. Then in products select light source as I am going with light source custom solution. Then give your product some name and put something in product model. Then select protocol as Wi-Fi and then click create. After that, a product configuration page will pop up and the first part of it is the function definition. So here I am gonna leave it is as it is and hit OK because we only need on off button for now. Then in device panel, select the app layout you want to see so you can choose any of the layouts available. Now in hardware development, click on to your standard module SDK. Then select if you have any other Tuya modules already lying around. You can go for that. Now for the next three tabs, product configuration, device debugging and testing service tab. I am gonna leave them as it is. So the product creation on Tuya IoT platform is done. Now the next thing we need to do is to get the Wi-Fi device which you selected during the product creation on the Tuya IoT platform. You can buy the module from Tuya, but right now I don't have the module, so I'll be using a ESP8266 instead. Please note that it's a Node MCU, not a ESP01. We will burn firmware into our ESP8266. So, to burn the firmware into ESP8266, you have to visit Tuya IoT platform again. And please copy the PID of your device and send it to Tuya DevOps team along with your Tuya account name and they will provide you a token ID to burn the firmware. Now you need to activate this token ID in order to use it. So please find the Tuya PMS link in description and then please register on the page. Then in Tuya PMS go to activation code verification and enter your token ID and hit confirm and your production certification will be confirmed and you'll be able to see your firmware key as well. Now you got the token verified to burn the firmware. 
So now all you need is the software to burn the firmware. So for that, please download Tuya's software to burn the firmware from the link provided in description. Then install the software and open it. After opening the software, log in into the software. After that, set up the baud rate for the device. Then connect your ESP8266 to your PC and check the serial port. And select the appropriate serial port for your ESP8266. Then click on enter token and enter your token ID and tick firmware download option and select burning authorization and then click OK. Then click on run to burn the firmware and in some time the firmware will be successfully burned into your ESP8266 device. Now we burned the firmware successfully on ESP8266. So it will work as Tuya's module. Now it's time to do the Arduino IDE setup, connections and remaining things. So very first open your Arduino IDE and go to library manager. Then search and download Tuya Wi-Fi MCU SDK. After downloading the library go to examples and open start example. And in that example you have to put your PID or product ID. To get the product ID, visit Tuya IoT platform and copy the PID of the product you created. Paste the PID here into the code and then hit upload and the code will get uploaded to your Arduino board. Now after the coding part, let's connect our Wi-Fi module to Arduino. So the connection part is very simple. Connect 5V pin to V in pin on ESP8266 and ground to ground. RX pin to TX and TX pin to RX of node MCU. Now in order to connect this device to the internet, it needs internet connectivity. For that we need to set up Wi-Fi configuration of this device. So for that connect power to the device, then connect a jumper to pin 7 on Arduino. And to make the pin 7 low, connect it to the ground. So that it will send command to Wi-Fi module to enter into config mode. Now make sure you have Tuya app already installed and you have already logged in to the app. Then in the app click on add icon. Select your product as mine is light source Wi-Fi. Then select your Wi-Fi settings and make sure you are connected to your Wi-Fi. Now make the pin 7 high and in some time you will see that. It will automatically add your device and now everything is set up and we are ready to see it in action. Now in the app if you toggle the light by clicking on it you can notice the onboard LED of our Arduino is turning on or off based on our input. To show it clearly I added a proper LED to pin 13 on Arduino. And as you can see that when I click to toggle the light source in the app. The LED on pin 13 turns on or turns off based on the input provided to the app. Now it's time to control the AC light bulb with the same functionality. So I got a relay module here and I'll be connecting this relay module to pin 13 on Arduino board. And I connected a AC light bulb to the relay module. Now let's turn on the power. And as you can see that if I give commands from the app, it works like a charm. So as you can see that we can control our light bulb over the internet. So similarly you can create your own IoT home automation solutions using Tuya IoT platform. And you can learn how to design your IoT home solutions from scratch. And even you can decide your app SDK look and feel. And you can even release your project as a product if you want to. Now if you want to try this, please register on the Tuya IoT platform website. And you can get $7 off module coupon. And if you finish a project then you will get a free finger bot. And if you complete a github work, you can get $35 off Amazon gift card. Find the link in description. Now coming back to the topic, I hope this video gave you a clear understanding how to use Tuya IoT platform to create your own 
IoT home automation solutions. But a word of advice here. Please try to use Tuya's Wi-Fi module instead of burning firmware to avoid problems. It's always a good idea to get Tuya's modules to design products on Tuya IoT platform. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you do, hit like, give me a share and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video of mine. Till then, keep exploring.